asteroids, death stars, telescopes, and snot. Somehow all of those things are in this video, so stay tuned to find out how. Starting off the list today, F. T3, a lost asteroid that could very well collide with Earth on October 5th of the year 2024. So in other words, six months from now. It's been called the lost asteroid because astronomers haven't actually been able to see it since 2007, but the trajectory determined at that time showed that the asteroid had a 1 in 11.5 million chance of colliding with our planet later this year. So what happens if that slim chance becomes a sure thing? Well, as you can imagine, irreparable damage. The energy released on impact would be equivalent to 2.6 billion tons of TNT, which would cause massive regional damage. I know it's an incredibly slim chance, but still it's pretty worrying nonetheless. Luckily however, the collision of this asteroid would not trigger a global catastrophe like the one that took out the dinosaurs, so I guess as long as you're far away from the site of impact, you would survive. But I'm assuming an event like this would cause a major decline in the quality of life worldwide. So I'd still be worried. Next up we've got WR104, the real life Death Star that is getting closer and closer to our planet each and every day. Okay, so it's not actually a moon sized Star Wars space station with the ability to destroy our entire planet. It's actually a triple star system, a group of three stars spinning really fast around one another with the ability to destroy our entire planet. Currently, the system is 7,500 light years away, but it's getting faster by the minute and it's also aimed directly at Earth so it's not promising. As the main star of the trio continues consuming gas from the other two, it also holds the potential to go supernova. And if that happens while the star is directly facing us, it's possible that not even 7500 light years will protect us from the intense gamma ray bursts that may be released from the celestial being. If it misses us, great, it will be one of the most talked about astronomical events in history, but if not, it could be one of the most talked about about great extinction events in history. I'm really hoping for the first one. Next up we have Snot Ball Asteroids. What are they? Well, it's an asteroid of any size really with a soft crust outer shell. Inside the object is made up of ice, snow, and bacteria. If the asteroid were to come into contact with Earth plunging down into the depths of the ocean, would that bacteria have the ability to survive? Well, probably, especially considering the fact that it's highly likely that the oceans on our planet were created by asteroids filled with water in the first place. The water's in the snot ball and the waters in our oceans would likely provide a similar environment in which the bacteria would be able to survive and maybe even thrive once introduced to our underwater ecosystems. But would life on earth continue to thrive once this foreign bacteria is introduced? Well, it's possible. I mean, anything's possible, but I'm thinking you wouldn't be wrong to be worried. Next on the list we have Gaia BH1, the current closest black hole to Earth, and when I say close, I mean it. This thing is only 1,500 light years away from Earth, which in the scheme of things means that it is practically sitting in our planet's backyard. When it was first discovered in 2022, scientists took note that this particular black hole was 10 times closer to Earth than the previous record holder, and not only that, but Gaia BH1 has a mass of 10 times bigger than that of our Sun, meaning its gravitational force is insane. Currently, Gaia remains relatively dormant, thank God. I mean, it even has a little sun-like star of its own orbiting its perimeter and it hasn't sucked that thing up yet. But should the black hole decide to change its predominantly dormant ways, given its proximity to Earth, in scientific terms, we'd be screwed. Next up, for those of you born in 1999 or later, your 30s are looking like they might just be a bit non-existent. And that will be all thanks to 99942 Apophis, an asteroid set to make its closest approach to Earth on April 13th of 2029. Currently it's set to come no closer than 19,635 miles, but you know, 
things change. And considering the fact that this thing is equivalent to five football fields across and taller than the New York Empire State Building, should something cause this asteroid to go off of its predicted course and cause it to collide with Earth's surface, we could be looking at some serious damage, and that's if this next one doesn't get us first. Asteroid AN10 is next, and it's set to make its closest contact to Earth in the year 2027, passing within just 242,000 miles. This asteroid is 0.6 of a mile, or 965 meters long, which may sound small in the scheme of things, but I feel it's important to note that an asteroid with a diameter of even just 300 meters can cause regional devastation and this is three times that. Given that the asteroid doesn't decide to randomly change course and collide with Earth, when it passes at a distance almost equivalent to the distance between Earth and the Moon, it will likely be visible through binoculars. So if you'd like to see this marvel, mark your calendars for August 7th of 2027. But now I'm thinking of what would happen if the asteroid hits the Moon. Huh. Next up we have Oumuamua, and I've actually talked about this one before, which makes sense because it's super fascinating. It's also been called the Traveler, which makes sense, considering it didn't actually originate within our solar system. In fact, no one knows which star system Oumuamua originated in. But what we do know is that it's had to cover quite a long distance to get this close to Earth. The foreign object was discovered on October 19th of 2017 and obviously was something no one had ever seen before. It's unclear whether or not the object is an asteroid or perhaps even a shard of hydrogen ice formed by a cold interstellar dust cloud mixed with gas, and so the object is referred to as simply a space rock. And this space rock made its closest contact to Earth in October of 2017. We got lucky then, but who's to say something doesn't change its trajectory, which is currently heading towards Neptune, back to Earth? If JoJo can come back like a boomerang, why not Oumuamua? That's a pop culture reference for you guys. By the way, Oumuamua directly trans translates to a messenger from afar arriving first. So if a Muamua itself doesn't come back to Earth, the name really implies that something else will. Next up, Gamma Rays, which we talked a little bit about when discussing the Death Star earlier. Well, Gamma Rays are bursts of penetrating electromagnetic radiation produced by colliding neutron stars or the collapse of giant stars into black holes. So what would happen if either of those things took place in part of the Milky Way galaxy? You know, our galaxy. Well, it wouldn't be good. While gamma ray bursts can be absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere, if a catastrophic event like star collision or collapse were to occur close enough to Earth, which it totally could, the atmosphere would be no match for the radiation. Almost instantly, the beam of the gamma ray would wipe out half of our planet and cause unimaginable levels of radiation to settle in the affected areas. So it's not ideal. Next up, Bennu. I hope Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I know the title of this video says near future, but in the scheme of things, like the entire universe scheme of things, I personally think that September 2nd in the year 2182 is not that far away. I mean, it's 158 years. Our grandkids will probably be alive for that, which is great, but also kind of scary, considering that 2182 is the year in which Bennu is supposed to make its closest approach to Earth. Oh, and there is also a one in 2,700 chance that it will strike our planet. And again, given the scheme of the universe, I feel like those still aren't great odds. Maybe like 0.5 and 3 billion would give me confidence, but one in less than 3,000? I don't know. Bennu is a 74 million ton, 0.49 kilometer carbon rich asteroid believed to have broken away from a much larger one between 2 billion and 7 million years ago. If it were to collide with Earth, the impact would be equivalent to the detonation of 1.4 billion tons of TNT. It might not end the world, but it would certainly end millions of lives. Unrelated, how is Elon coming on the whole Mars thing? And finally, we have perhaps the most daunting threat of all, if I'm being honest, 
Space junk. It is estimated that there are about 500,000 pieces of space junk between 1 and 10 centimeters, and over 25,000 larger pieces caught within the orbit of the Earth. In 2023, 211 spacecrafts were successfully launched into orbit, and so far in 2024, the number of successful launches sits at 71, and that's just four months into the year. While advancements in science and space exploration are amazing, the more satellites that get launched, the more crowded Earth's orbit becomes and the greater risk it becomes. Overcrowding leads to a greater chance of collision, and I don't think I have to explain to you why satellites colliding are bad. But here's the thing, it's actually way worse than just losing internet or cell service. Collisions like that can cause more shrapnel to break off into orbit, and if our orbit becomes polluted enough, it will eventually become unstable, causing space travel to become the equivalent of driving a jeep through a landfill but much more dangerous, so it's going to inhibit our ability to explore space, which is obviously not a good thing. There's so much out there to know. And also, not to mention, objects like the Hubble Space Telescope are looking more and more like they might crash land onto the ground. So, you know, keep your head up and your eyes locked. All right, you guys, that was my video for today. If you enjoyed it, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do post three times a day on this channel, which is super fun. I've been your host, Hannah Thompson, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.